Derby gave a debut to their latest signing, Mikel Beck, who arrived from Middlesbrough last week. But it was his striking partner, Dion Burton, who made his mark in the opening minutes against Newcastle. Francesco Baiano with the first overhead kick, Burton with the second, and a more positive result. The opening goal coming after just eight minutes, giving Derby the perfect start. The Jamaican international reacting well to Baiano's effort with his 12th strike of the season. Derby's lead was short-lived. Just three minutes later, Newcastle were back on level terms through Wales captain Gary Speed. Newcastle finding the net, even without the injured Alan Shearer and Duncan Ferguson. 1-1, and only 11 minutes on. Derby were given the chance to retake the lead after 21 minutes, when Nikos Dabizas pulled back by Arnold. <laughs> Referee Dermot Gallagher booking the Greek defender for that foul. The Italian was chasing Lars Bahinan through ball and his face left Dabizas in his wake. Baiano then completed the job and Derby were back in front. Once more Derby's efforts were in vain though. Despite the home support they couldn't consolidate their lead and once again it was Gary Speed who conjured the equaliser only three minutes later. This time with a superb free kick. and only 24 minutes on. Speed shot took a deflection off Dion Burden, the last man in the war. Mikel Beck came close to restoring Derby's lead and scoring on his first appearance. Denied there by Shea Given, an excellent one-handed save. You couldn't afford to take your eyes off the game for a moment. If you did, you might have missed Newcastle going into the league for the first time after 39 minutes. Tameri gets fire, given too much space, and his shot from 25 metres, another wicked deflection off Stefan Schnorr, leaving Russell Holt stranded. Before the first half was over, Newcastle could have increased their lead, only the woodwork prevented Norberto Solano from making it four. But the Peruvian made amends on the other with a stunning volley following a flowing Newcastle move. Ketspire provided the cross and Solano's run was timed perfectly. Twice behind at 1-0 and 2-1, Newcastle now led four goals to two and were heading for maximum points. And once again, the Peruvian, not the biggest player on the field, producing a ferocious finish. If Newcastle full victory was assured, they were made to think again by substitute Paolo Wanchop. Costa Rican pulled back a goal in the closing minutes to set up a thrilling finish. But his header from Dean Sturridge's cross was the last of the scoring. Newcastle won by the odd goal in seven. Derby three, Newcastle four. I think we played an excellent game, um, I think uh, overall uh, I think we dominated it and we played some excellent football, created a lot of chances and uh, we could score even more than we scored uh, the final whistle.